if this is your first time here don't forget to please press the subscribe button and press the little bell to receive notifications when we upload you can now become a member of the fm scout youtube channel simply press the join button and you'll be given five different tiers to choose from we also have a discord channel so if you do like talking about football manager just go to www.discord.gg forward slash fm scout the link is in the description Hello everybody, Jamie from FM Scout. Welcome to a new episode today. Today's episode is going to involve a tactic, which is Naps Beowulf 442, which has just gone live on the FM Scout website. So to download this tactic, I'm firstly going to show you, just in case you're new to this, how to download it, where to put it, and that kind of stuff. So literally, just go to the FM Scout website. The link is in the description, which will take you to this page. Press download now, which is the, obviously the big red button just here, nice and easy. And then obviously you will get it downloaded. And once you've downloaded it, you want to drag it into this directory right here. So this PC, Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2019, and then Tactics. And then once you have done that, you want to go to your Football Manager. And then you want to go into your Tactics screen and then press Load Tactic. If that option isn't there, by the way, for example, if I just choose this formation... So if that option isn't there, literally just press this button just here, press load tactic, and then you'll see the nap tactic just there. Press load, and then we're good to go. So what we're going to do today, we're not going to do much testing because this is probably, according to nap, one of the best tactics. So this tactic, he has played 109 games in the Premier League, and he has won 109 games and won every cup possible in that time. So it seems incredible. I want you guys to download it, have a little play around. Let me know in the comments just how good this tactic is. I haven't used it myself. But obviously, Nap is very highly rated in the tactic community on Football Manager. So I want you guys to do the testing for me. Give it a go. And we're just going to have a little look through the tactic, the player instructions, the instructions. Um, because obviously, I've noticed straight away it's wide midfielders on the left and the right, which is a kind of an unfamiliar role to me. I've never personally used this, this role. So I want to kind of see what players are available. For example, if you start as Man City like we have now... Well, we're going to kind of put the team together as Man City and, and see what we get. So let's just start by putting the team together. So obviously we've got a sweeper keeper on defence. So if you are City, you would probably need to look at buying a sweeper keeper on defend. Um, we're going to look at the right back, Kyle Walker. Wing backs are very easy to find on Football Manager. Not that much of an issue. Ball playing defenders are becoming more and more popular as well. So ball playing defenders aren't that hard to find. So at this point we'd have Laporte and we'd have obviously um, John Stones or maybe Otamendi. On the left-hand side, we are going to put Benjamin Mendy for the time being. And then on the right-hand side, let's have a look. So this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. We're going to come back to that. So in terms of the midfield, we've got two Mazellas. Obviously, you could probably play Bernardo Silva and Fernandinho, which seems like a good option for the Mazellas. You could also play De Bruyne. Um, considering you wouldn't be using kind of De Bruyne's role, I'd probably save De Bruyne at this point. Um, on terms of the poacher, so you're using a poacher and a pressing forward. So for this, we'd obviously have probably Aguero as the poacher, and then the pressing forward would probably be Gabriel Jesus, maybe. We'll do that. So, like I say, the downside is you might have to, if you are looking at downloading this tactic, there's no AMCs, there's no DMs. If you've got them in your squad, I'd consider selling them and investing on kind of the wide sides or the midfield if you need to, or, or the striker. Looking at, at City, I'd probably invest in a left back. Um, a striker and probably two wingers. Um, midfield seems very, very strong with De Bruyne. Obviously, you're going to need to train a few players in positions and stuff like that. But I kind of want to have a look at the wide midfield. We're going to go through all the instructions and stuff shortly. But obviously, if you were to do it as this, obviously, you've got Mares, But naturally, Mares is kind of an inside forward. So it doesn't kind of work. I mean, he can play as a wide playmaker. It's just a wide midfield role. It is kind of difficult to find. So I want to kind of have a look and show you guys some of the players that you potentially could pick up in the wide midfield role. So I would also recommend using my player filters, which is available, of course, on FM Scout's website, which is what I use to um, to find all my players. So let's just, um, obviously it's going to take a while. I've got 360,000 players loaded on this save, so it's going to lag slightly. Um, so let's just do new search. We're going to look, we're going to imp import my player filters. So just like this. There's a separate video for this if you want to check it out. So we're going to go down to a wide midfielder and kind of have a look who... So we're playing on support. So we're going to kind of have a look kind of who fits this role the most. Um, let's have a quick look. I mean, for this, I am I might just get rid of... To make it easier, I'm just going to search for the role rather than the actual attributes. It might make a little bit more sense. 
Um, again, the lag. We've got so many players loaded. Let me just clear this. I think it's actually trying to find the players right now. It's very annoying. Um, there we go. So let's just go wide midfielder and let's see who kind of fits that role. So, of course, the, there's a 50-year-old there. Holy Christ. Sven Eric. I want to click him before he disappears. That guy is 50 years old. This is kind of off topic, but I, I want to look at this guy. 53? Holy Christ. Okay. Um, this is not a video about age players, but let me, um, let me just have a quick look who kind of fits that role. When it decides to come back. Here we go. So let me just do this. We're going to filter this by wide midfielder. So we're going to get all the wide midfielders loaded first. Like I say, it is very annoying. I apologize. I could probably cut this out. but So I always tend to press partially as well. Just so we do get. Because it's going to be hard to find really, really good natural wide midfielders. So let me just do it by value a second. So according to this, there's only one player who is... A natural wide midfielder, which is this guy. So that seems very worrying. So it's a little bit of a challenge, I'd say. Um, it, you're going to have to develop a winger to a wide midfielder and stuff like that. Which it, it's not that hard to do. Um, if you want me to do a video on retraining and the things I do for retraining, let me know in the comments. I'll also do that. But let me just check this. So let me do partially, and it should show a few more better players. Here we go. So wide midfielder, partially. And then we'll see kind of... If there's anyone who's got the potential to retrain. So wide midfielders kind of operate. So they're the midfielders without pace. Um, they've got some defensive duties to do as well. You can see once you put partially. So for example, Coke is partially a wide midfielder. So what we're going to do for a second. We're going to look through a few of these. Like There isn't many. But let's just look through the top ones. So I'm just going to shortlist this so it doesn't kind of keep lagging. So if we go into here. So you can see you've got Coke. At, um... Who, who can play on the left. He's a wide playmaker, but he's also got this, which is kind of competent. So that's someone who, I mean, if you look at what I've just said about pace, defensive, you know, his tackling's 14. This guy would suit. So anyone who's kind of a midfielder could be retrained as a wide midfielder. It wouldn't be that hard as long as he's got the right stats. And wide midfielders are more, like I say, they, they more support. And it is the support role as well. They kind of sit back and look for the pass from outside the box into the box, that kind of stuff. So it's <clears throat> it's a very good tactic. And yeah, so that's that's kind of the, the players you can see. Um, again, if you're looking for regens and stuff, like this guy's a left-hand side as well as a wide midfielder. So I'd personally pick these up to start with. I mean, the, until you start getting the regens, I think the tactic is so OP that it wouldn't even matter if you had these two players at Man City, if that makes sense. Um, you've got one on the right here, this guy, Campbell, who's at um, Leipzig. Leipzig, I can never say that. I apologise. So yeah, this, um, for example, this guy hasn't got much pace, but he's got the defensive duty as well, which is what you kind of need to look for in this tactic. Well, let's go back to it. So you've kind of got, um, obviously, you've got a pressing forward, a poacher, uh, a wide midfielder, two Mazellas, a wide midfielder on the right hand side, wing back, ball playing defenders, and um, the wing backs are on support, the ball playing defenders are on defend with a sweeper keeper. In terms of the mentality, so you've got an attacking mentality, you've got in possession. You know, pass into space, play out defence, low crosses, run at defence, work ball into box, overlap left and overlap right. So there's going to be a lot of work from your wing backs overlapping kind of the wide midfielders. A lot of times these will kind of sit in this position just here. They very rarely would push so far up, whereas your wing backs obviously will be supporting them and they'll kind of be overlapping to get in that position. They can also pull back to the wing back if they need to. Obviously work ball into box. Uh, in transition, you've got to throw it long. Um, distribute to fullbacks, so your, your keeper will distribute to you both fullbacks, and they'll start there. They'll try and then overlap, as it as it seems. You're on the counter, you're on the counter press. Um, in terms of outer possession, you've got defend narrower, much higher defensive line, much higher line of engagement, which is very very popular on this version of FM. A lot of tactics do include a higher defensive line and a higher engagement for the attacking type of play. Um, extremely urgent closing down. Prevent short goal kick distribution, get stuck in, use tight marking, and use offside trap. So that's kind of the the team instructions. Let's have a quick look at the player instructions. So the striker's got take uh, the pressing forward has got take fewer risks. The poacher has got pass it shorter, roam from position, so he'll play in all this area. Tackle harder and mark tighter. The wide midfielder has got so many instructions, the most I've ever seen on a player. Um, pass it short, across from byline, dribble more, run wide with ball, shoot less often, 
roam from position, sit narrower, close down more, tackle harder, and mark tighter. So I'm assuming it's the same. It is the same on the right hand side as well. So I'm very intrigued to see how these work, and I want you guys to let me know in the comments exactly your kind of your your experience with this tactic. Please do let me know because I'll you know I will put the the um the kind of the reviews onto his page as well. So um, Mazellas, you've got. Two of them are both different. So one of them has got no play instructions. The other one has got pass it shorter, take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, tackle harder, and mark tighter. And then going on to the wing backs, you've got Mendy, who is at the wing back at the minute, has got pass it shorter. So it's quite short passing, even though we've got pass into space. Um, cross from the byline, shoot less often, sit narrower, close down more, tackle harder. Stones and the, both centre backs have just got pass it shorter. So you can see the philosophy is kind of short passing. Uh, the wing back has got pass it shorter, cross from byline, shoot less often, close down more, tackle harder, which is the same as the other one. Apart from the left back is sitting narrower and the right back isn't. The sweeper keeper has got take fewer risks. Obviously, there's a sweeper keeper that's nice to have. And then tackle harder for the sweeper keeper as well. Um, a little, so in terms of that as well, the set pieces are included in this tactic. So you don't need to touch the set pieces. If you go into your corner section, you can see that... Um, Nap has put um, good right, so he's got already the tactics set up for the defend and the attack. So the defend you can see left good, right good for the defending, and then the attack you've got BO442 left, which I'm assuming that is, and then right BO442 right for the attacking of the corners. Uh, in terms of free kicks, he has also set up defend for free kicks, and he has also set up he hasn't set up any attack free kicks, by I'm assuming, unless he's just not. Yeah, so he's not set up any attack free kicks. So if you've got a good attacking free kick um, set piece, you can always add that. And then throw-ins, I don't think... It, oh, he's added a throw-in. So defend, he's added no throw-in, uh, no set pieces for defend. But attack, he has, added, he has added two, which looks like to be long throws into the box. So yeah, that is kind of the Beer Wolf tactic. Um, I just like I say, I want you guys to test it. See what you think. Even try it with lower clubs. I mean, like I say, the wide midfielder might be a little bit more tricky to bring in. But most of the other roles you should be able to find. I mean, I'm not saying like national north south type of stuff, but in terms of kind of like League Two, League One, you should be able to get ball playing defenders at that point. So give it a go and, and see what happens. It is a very attacking tactic, but the role suggests it's quite defensive, if that makes sense. So obviously the mentality is attacking, but you've got a lot of support. So I want you guys to test it. Let me know what you think. Obviously, this tactic is Nap's tactic, so all credit to Nap. I just want to give it to you guys. Nap has allowed us to publish tactics on FM Scout. So you'll see there's about eight more tactics to go on the site, which we'll do a review, a review of each tactic once they get uploaded to the site. Um, but if you like more of this content and you like you know, a little overview of tactics, let me know and um, I'll do more. But apart from that, that's the video and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Laters.